This is the stop that I was talking about in a previous video. So a fairly straightforward design. There's a nut welded into this plate and then the plate is welded on. And so this bolt can be threaded in there. And so it creates an adjustable stop for the rack engagement. So when the machine is in operation and the linkage gets released, it should go in that direction. And so at this end, I would like to mount an adjustable bumper. So I was at Canadian Tire and uh, this is something that I bought there. It's actually a hockey puck. So it doesn't look like a hockey puck anymore. But I want to use this as the bumper. And so I want to use this to hold that bumper. And this piece has had some work done to it already as well. So I don't need this part that was cut off. And uh, this hole was uh, made with a hole saw. And I'd like to mount this in this area here somewhere. Sometimes when I'm welding, I lose track of where I am in the weld. So here's an example. See, I didn't finish it all the way there. So I think I'll finish that yet as well. So the linkage is not complete yet and also the final adjustment for the linkage, the stop in the back and the bumper in the front have yet to be finalized. So right now it's in the disengaged position. So if I take my vice grip and I move it this way, that would be engaged. And now it's come up against the stop in the back here. And if I manually disengage it, it should come up against the bumper here. So when the uh, machine is fully operational and running, the uh, disengagement should happen automatically when the uh, bearings down there run off the end of the rack. So anyways guys, thanks for checking out another video.